everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with Monday Madness. Yep. Today, we're going to show off this Debbie Harry Puff, which is from... Blondie. It's an awesome pop. I knew when it came out, I don't know if Spectre remembers, I was like, oh my god, I want that pop, I want that pop. And you know, there's a reason we're only reviewing this one pop, because now I'd like to say, what the Funko? Where is a Stevie Nicks pop? Where is a Ann Wilson and Nancy Wilson from Heart pop? Um, where is a Pat Benatar pop? I mean, there are such other amazing artists, and I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Debbie Harry, but um, there's tons of other ones that we could do. Yeah. Back from the same, you know, era. So. Just getting that licensing. That's all it is. I mean, I know there's newer ones too, like I'd like a pink pop. Not a pink pop, a pink pop. Um, P exclamation point and K. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of bands I would like to see Funko do. I know that there's rumors going around they're getting ready to do Twisted Sister, which is pretty awesome. Yep. I think um, if they pick the right outfits, they can do some amazing pops. I do think that we should see, hopefully at some point, except for they're probably not signing the license, I'd love to see some Bon Jovi pops. I'd also like to see like Cinderella, you know, all these great bands that were back in the 80s. They just need the person to have, like truthfully, Debbie Harry is one of those people where I don't think there's enough distinct um, characteristics that if this pop was just sitting on a shelf and nobody knew they made a pop of her, anybody would know who it was. Okay, it's not like, um, I don't know, maybe like a Stevie Nicks pop where she's got the curly hair and she's dressed like a gypsy. If they did something like that, you might look at that pop and know who that is. Yeah. You know, um, so I think that's part of, part of the reason, too, why they can't do so many. I mean, there's got to be something that says, hey, this is who I am. You know? Yeah. But, on top of that, I mean, even Rod Stewart. I'd love to see a Rod Stewart pop. But we do have a Rod Stewart comic book. Which is pretty awesome. This is part of the rock and roll comics that I'm collecting. This one is number 38. So this one's pretty awesome. In really good shape. So, I love that. Go ahead and take her out of the box so they can see her. And then we will move on to our trading cards. Okay. Okay, so there we have her out of her box. Um, in a white dress with white shoes. Again, I think if you didn't know who she was and you just happened to walk by her sitting on a shelf, she would be one of those where you would be like, who is this? Yeah. You know? I mean, it has her two necklaces, her bracelets. Still, I don't think it's enough to scream... You know, I'm Blondie. I, I just, I don't see enough to scream that. Yeah, like when yeah. you said it was Blondie, I'm like, oh, I never even knew that was Blondie. I just thought it was a blonde hair chick. I thought <laughs> you had a pretty woman pop out here for no, <laughs> no, 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 no. But still awesome. Awesome, awesome. Love Blondie. Love Debbie. Love it all, you know. So I had to have the pop either way, even though I think it's... I think this is when people say I don't like people pops this is why they don't like people pops because there's yeah, no outstanding the, characteristics even the box didn't have anything yeah. like special on it just had a picture of her and that was it yeah and that's why I think a lot of people say I don't like people pops this is why they don't like people pops right yeah so we're gonna go ahead and grab our tub of trading cards and pull out a couple packs starting to work its way down. <laughs> yeah, but don't you have like three more boxes in there? No, no, they're all in here. I have sent a few out in giveaways and stuff, so. Alright, go ahead. 
Go peeking. Mm -hmm. I always have to put the bottom. I'm gonna have to put the top this time. What'd you get? I got the silver rock and roll. Pumps. I got chili CDs. <laughs> Do you want something else or you can open those? No, I haven't opened up in two weeks. So. Okay, because he always gets silly CDs. Why don't you do two silly CDs since they're so small? Okay. All right, so let's move our tub. All right, so let's open these up. So what, you think you get five a pack or something? Um, get five pack. And you have like, what, 20 on that one? I think so, if I remember correctly. It's a, it's a pamphlet, that's for sure. Two, three. She's looking at the cards real okay. quick so we can see if she's 12. No, I'm not. I'm counting how many are here. 12. I got a sticker here. Okay. There's only 12. Okay. All right. So um, why don't you go first this time okay. since you're going to do two packs. Now, we are saving the pieces uh, to all of these so that we can try to put one of the puzzles together. Yeah. Hopefully. That's what we're hoping we get enough pieces to at least put one of the puzzles together. So we got Careless, Santana. <laughs> He's a little burnt. Yeah, that's for Santana, Carlos. We that's got funny. No Trout. No Trout. No Doubt. Yep. No Doubt. Oh, this one says, congratulations, you found one of the 11 ran randomly inserted Silly CD sticker cards. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, M&M. Yep. The uh, Marshmallow Blathers. So we finally got a sticker. That's the first one out of all of them. Uh, we got Marilyn Moron, that's part of a puzzle so that piece. that must be Marilyn Manson. That's part of our puzzle. And... Which one is that? The Nixon Chicks, but yeah, it's part but of the puzzle. Yeah, but it's part of our puzzle, so that's the good thing. We're getting, I think we're getting the most of actually that one, ironically. We have three of the cards and now like two or three pieces of yeah. the puzzle. Yeah, so we're just saving them until we can see if we can get enough for our puzzle. All right, go ahead and open the other pack. We'll go ahead and do yours. Oh, you want me to do mine? Okay, yeah. so, uh, so 12 cards. 12 cards. I'm going to say five for you okay and one for me okay um that sounds about what i would say too so there's 12 cards here and we're voting on how many bands i've seen and how many bands he's seen it's not by actual band it's by card so if we have three cards of a band that we've seen like let's say bon jovi and we get three cards that counts as three yes so all right here we go first one is ian Pace and he Oh, deep purple. I can see. My eyes aren't that good and it's dark in here. So from deep purple. She says it's dark, but it's I need sunglasses. Alright, next one is Junkyard, Patrick M Muzingo, and I have seen Junkyard. I just remember like I said last time I don't remember like who they opened for. So that's one. Next one is Megadeth, Dave Mustang, and that would be a yes. Winger, the whole band, would be another yes. Um, Scott Heal from Skid Row is a yes, multiple times. Brett Michaels from Poison, 100% yes, was my mother's favorite band, and it's funny, in the 80s we used to go to a lot of metal concerts, and I always had to ask my mom, are you going, are you not going, because if she went, we got floor seats and sat down close, but if she wasn't going, I had to sit with my friends, and we sat up in the stands somewhere for 25 bucks. Nosebleeds. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Bill Bruford. From yes, this is a no. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Bobby Doll from Poison is a yes. All right, so now you have six cards there. And here's another Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. 
So that's a yes also. Uh-oh. Here's another Make It Hell card. It's funny because sometimes um, that's what happens is we get a bunch of one band. Yeah. But we go by cards because there's only 12 cards. So um, next is Louis Clement. 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 From Testament. Testament was a no. Yeah, see, I've always said no for Testament. Yeah, I don't ever remember seeing them. Well, here's your one. Oh. Alice Cooper. This is a yes for both of us. Twice. Yeah, but you can only count one. Uh, Winger. Red Beach. It's a yes. And this is just a contest card that we can't enter anymore. <laughs> And I got a sticker for, I'm not really sure what this sticker's for. It's finger 18. Yeah, I'm not really. Add someone. Yeah, I got this sticker. So how many yeses did I have? Uh, too many. Too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, nine of them were yeses. Oh, ten. Ten. Ten were yeses. So there was... 13 cards. I think I thought I counted 12, but there were 13. So, but again, one, two, what was it? We were looking like at... three bands. Yeah, it's four bands. Four bands. Maybe five. There's another one right there. But there's a lot of Megadeth, and there was a lot of um, Winger. So, but again, something we just play to see how many we've seen, and then of course, you know, the man, the myth, the legend... One of my favorite all time, Alice Cooper. So. Alright, let's see what's in the second pack here. And so we start off with a uh, Hoop Dog. Snoop Dog. Snoop Dog, okay. I always try to figure out who they are. Filth Swill. Will Smith? Nope. Oh. Who is that? I don't know. Is that Taylor Swift or, um... Taylor Swift wasn't around back uh, then. What's her name? Um, Tim McGraw's wife. Faith Hill? Faith Hill. You think that's who it is? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm not really sure either. And then we got Instincts. Oh, Instinct. And now we got the Careless Santana puzzle piece. Oh, that's um, a couple of those ones now, right? Because well, we got one, I think you just got one in that tab. No, I got a careless Santana card. I didn't get a puzzle piece. Oh, I thought you had a puzzle piece. And Jennifer Nose Pit. I who that's supposed to be. Love Hewitt? Oh, maybe. 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 Well, but that would be a silly CD. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe Jennifer Lopez? I was thinking that too, but then it didn't sound right. But maybe. Does Jennifer Lopez have a big nose? I don't think so. There's, there's some singer who has like a, like a horse nose. That's not nice. Um, anyways. Um, she voiced her own character in Family Guy where they made fun of her for it. <laughs> that's how he knows who most of these people are from Family Guy. No. But, you know, some of them are fun, but not all of them. Anyways, so Funko, awesome pop there, even though, like I said, out of the box, it kind of... But awesome concept. Love the fact that you gave us a Blondie pop. But give us some other ones. We're waiting. I want more rock pops. I want a Janis Joplin and ride with her car. I, I want just a Janis Joplin pop. You know, I mean... I know Funko watches these videos, and I know you take our ideas, so please, please, please steal my ideas. All right. All right. We'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. Bye.